The first trailer for the new Tina Fey and Amy Poehler comedy Sisters hit the web yesterday. Sisters follows two disconnected siblings who are summoned home to clean out their childhood bedroom before their parents sell the family house. Looking to recapture their glory days, they throw one final high school style party for their classmates, which turns into the cathartic rager that a bunch of ground down adults really need. Mark, what did you think of the first Sisters trailer? Uh, I think it shows promise. I didn't laugh that much watching the trailer, but that never has been something that prevents me from wanting to see a comedy. I like when they don't give away the best jokes in the trailer. It was surprising, obviously, to see the role that Tina Fey is playing and the role that Amy Poehler is playing. Mm. I would have those switched like it was in Baby Mama, where you more expect Tina Fey to be the straight-laced one and Amy Poehler to be the crazy one. I like that they turned that premise on its ear. I think the idea overall is funny that you have this rager at your house one more time. Uh, the trailer itself, as a piece of art, didn't care for it that much much, but as an advertisement for a movie that I think has promise, I'm on board. I love these two, so anything that they do. John Cena, by the way, popping into the end of the trailer, much like <laughs> he does in Trainwreck. If his performance in Trainwreck is any indication to what he can do in this movie, I'm definitely going to pay to see it. You know, you, you raise up a point. I also thought maybe you'd see those roles reverse, but it worked for Pineapple Express, so maybe it's kind of a good mm -hmm. thing that they're switching them up. Look, Tina Fey, Amy Poehler, these guys are awesome, therefore anything they do is going to be awesome, right? Nope. This is a horrible trailer. That, this trailer <laughs> sucks. I, there was nothing funny about it. I was so excited when I heard that this trailer dropped because these two are just like perfection. I, I love everything these guys do, especially when they do it together. Mm -hmm. There's such a great comedic chemistry between the two of them, both when it's like uh, like a live sort of thing, whether they're doing the Golden Globes, when they're on screen together, their individual work, I love. I was so excited about this, but I cannot let my fandom of the two of them you know, clear up this mucky murk of the fact that this trailer sucked. I, it actually has turned me off the movie. I agree. I don't want to see something that's going to make, that's going to give away the best jokes. But damn it, you, your trailer better make me laugh. And I don't think I grinned. I don't think I grinned once. So here's hoping the next one does a lot better because, man, we're not off to a good start. Um, I want to take Theon Greyjoy's name away and say this trailer <laughs> reeks. Um, <laughs> it, 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 it's not good. And I, I really like these two a lot. And I actually think they did that one movie together. The, I forget it was like the where... Amy Poehler is taking is pregnant. And baby mom. Baby mom. Baby mom is yep. right, 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 right. So um, that that worked for me. So I still think that this movie could work because they work together so well. And the director of the first Pitch Perfect, it, yeah, it could be really funny. And like you said, Mark, you know, John Cena was amazing in Trainwreck. To, to, if they can put those cameos together the right way, I still think this movie could work and probably will. And I don't know why it is as, as Amy Poehler gets. Older, I, fi I find myself more attracted to her. I don't know what that is, but uh, she's in that shot, in especially in that shot. Um, but there's a, uh, but it's just this trailer. None of the jokes hit, and it's like the, it's like they were trying so hard to say, oh, watch how outrageous this can be, and and watch these plain words, and look how clever we're such a. It, it was just like two friends who put together this trailer that they didn't want anyone to see because it's like the dailies that hit the floor and then it accidentally got out. They're like, oh, well, that didn't go over well. Let's, uh, the next trailer, hopefully, is this a rated R movie? Do we know? Because if it's not, then we're definitely in trouble. Yeah, uh, if it's not, if it's, if it's rated R, let me see the Red Band trailer because you look at a trailer like Spy, um, right. which yeah, the PG-13 yeah. trailer uh, was, was terrible. The Red Band trailer was amazing. It turned out to be a pretty good movie. So... You know, here's the hope. Yeah, but I mean, you, you look at something like Hot Pursuit, which is just an awful movie. It's like something that happens in a gas station bathroom that should never get out. Yeah. It's a terrible, terrible movie. But that had Reese Witherspoon and Sofia Vergara, and I've never seen them together before. And I'm like, well, I don't know if I really trust this. I trust them. So yeah. even if the trailer isn't that good, when it comes to a comedy, if I trust you enough, the people who are on the movie poster, I can walk in and say, okay, I didn't love the trailer, but that's okay because I put my faith in these people. Yeah, so I'm willing, to, I'm willing to risk the 10 bucks with these two. And yet the trailer for Hot Pursuit was better than this trailer. Yeah. Uh, but, but, but this movie, look, you're right. I trust these guys. The movie's going to be, I trust that this movie is going to be better than what the trailer just represented to us. But as long as we're just talking about the trailer, got to call it like 